So, Yang released, Andrew Yang released his healthcare plan uh, recently, and uh, it is not Medicare for all. It is actually very far from Medicare for all. And he's not being totally honest about this. He's actually being quite dishonest. Now, you guys know how I feel about Andrew Yang. I have a lot of strong disagreements with the guy. He's certainly not my candidate of choice. But I respect some of his ideas, and, and I respect him. I think that Andrew Yang is just uh, a principled guy that I disagree with and a worthy opponent to kind of present the other side. That's why I've said I, I wish Andrew Yang would have run as a Republican. Um, and when I say that, I don't mean that as an insult to Andrew Yang. I, I know some Yang fans, they took that as an insult, and I, and I could certainly understand that because – you know, the GOP is a disgusting neo-fascist party and suggesting somebody should join them is, you know, I, I get how your first knee-jerk reaction is. That's insulting. I totally understand that. But I don't mean it in an insulting way. What, where, what I mean it as is if progressives are trying to infiltrate the Democratic Party, why can't a tech libertarian like Andrew Yang try to infiltrate the Republican Party? Why, why do we have to just allow... Uh, what the Republican Party is, uh, allow that to continue unchecked. So that's what I'm getting at. And Andrew Yang's healthcare plan is uh, not very good. And what he's doing in this case is not very honest. And, you know, I, I really, and well, let's get into it first. All right. So Andrew Yang draws contrast with rest of field on his new healthcare plan. Okay. So we'll pause this so it doesn't. All right. So Andrew Yang released his healthcare plan Monday morning, a proposal with elements of Medicare for all, but without the public option plan that even moderate candidates like uh, former Vice President Joe Biden and South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg have committed to implementing. OK, so what what parts of Medicare for all does it have? To be clear, I support the spirit of Medicare for all. Um, but swiftly reformatting, this is Yang speaking, swiftly reformatting 18% of our economy and eliminating private insurance for millions of Americans is not a realistic strategy. So we need to provide a new way forward on healthcare for all Americans. Again, this is what they were saying 10 years ago. We need to do it gradually. That's what they were telling us. We had the gradual baby step. That was the Affordable Care Act. Now it's time for full throttle single payer. Will there be a loss of some jobs? Sure, there will also be new jobs in the field. There will be new jobs in the field where you're working for an entity that's not leaving 30 million people out in the cold. And by the way, there will be new jobs in the economy in general because people won't be going bankrupt because of healthcare expenses. They'll have more money in their pocket because the Medicare for all is cheaper. So they'll have more money in their pocket. What does that mean? That means they'll go and spend it. So the jobs argument is just null and void. All right. So now they're talking about what they'll be spending. So what does he plan to do? Okay. His a new way forward plan includes pieces already in his competitors plans, but it differs dramatically in several key ways too. Uh, Yang's proposal does not include provisions targeted at expanding insurance coverage. All right, so he's not going to do anything there. Um, all right, so what does it do? It doesn't work to expand the current system. Uh, so he wants to lower prescription drug costs. Okay, so that's one thing he's trying to do. His healthcare plan builds on some of the earlier promises to hold pharmaceutical companies accountable by directing the FDA and Department of Justice to work together and bringing criminal cases against pharmaceutical execs who use misleading marketing tactics. That's just lip service. That, that is next to nothing, by the way. Misleading marketing tactics. First of all, what exactly does that mean? What exactly would they be doing? How do they determine what is a misleading marketing tactic? Okay, the reason that our drugs cost so much in the United States is because of big pharma, because of the uh, insurance companies, and because of processes uh, known as evergreening, where they renew patents by changing something about the drug. So they have this patent for a super long time before any generics or competitors can enter the market. Saying you're going to crack down on misleading marketing does not address any of that stuff. 
Because by the way, all this evergreening stuff that they're doing, it's legal. It shouldn't be legal, but it is. So you cra can't crack down on people when they're not breaking a law. You need to change the law. And according to this, that, that's not something he plans on doing. So this plan would do nothing to lower drug costs. Okay, Yang also commits to investing in telehealth, information and services given over the phone or internet, noting that the demand for physicians is outpacing the available supply. Okay, I mean, I'm sure there's some, there's definitely some room to utilize technology in our health, but you still have to physically go to the doctor once a year. You still have to show up and get, you know, your, your heartbeat taken and get, I mean, you know, there's only so much you can do online. So again, I feel like this is a, a small drop in the bucket to actually changing healthcare. His third prong also touches on the demand for doctors and proposes for giving their student loans and moving them through a fee for service system um, to a salary system. Well, I'm, I'm for forgiving all student loan debt. So, okay. I mean, I can see that. Let's go directly to his website. All right. So that's ABC's summary. Let's go directly to his website though. So here's the problem with his website. Look what it still says on top. It still says Medicare for all. It's not Medicare for all. That's being dishonest. He should take that off. It's not Medicare for all. That's misleading. He knows Medicare for all is popular. So he's parroting. And this is the stuff that the other candidates do. All right. So here's what he says on his website. To be clear, I support the spirit of Medicare for all, but not Medicare for all. And have since the first day of this campaign, I do believe, okay, so this is something they quoted in the article. As Democrats, we all believe in healthcare as a human right. We all want to make sure there's universal affordable coverage. Okay. So here's what he says. This means controlling the cost of prescription drugs, in, in investing in innovative technology to cut waste and boost access. This means shifting the incentive structure for providers, shifting our focus to uh, more stages of care, uh, that means revamping what comprehensive care means in the 21st century to include crucial aspects of well-being. So, and here's the thing. He doesn't cut the insurance company out of the equation. That's the big thing. He's not cutting them out. So, once again, this is a worthy opposition. This is an opposition to a progressive approach to healthcare. That's exactly what this is. Is this way better than what Trump and the Republicans came up with, with the AHCA? Yes, because it's actually trying to make people's lives better. I don't think Andrew Yang has this plan because he wants to uh, be in bed with Big Pharma. I think he has this plan because he genuinely believes this is the best approach. I disagree with him, but this is a worthy discussion to have. I disagree with him because to really fix our healthcare system, you have to cut the for-profit insurance companies out of the equation, period. And you have to ban duplicative coverage the way Medicare for All does. I also think to really combat drug prices, he's right we need to combat drug prices, but his plan to just uh, sue for misleading marketing, that, that's going to do absolutely nothing. What we really need to do is change the laws for generics to enter the market. Who has a policy for that? Bernie Sanders does. Andrew Yang does not. So this is a worthy opponent. This is a worthwhile conversation to have. What this isn't is Medicare for all. So it's very dishonest that Yang is still hanging the Medicare for all brand at the top. Well, then simultaneously saying, well, I'm for the spirit of it, but it's not going to happen. So... He needs to clarify on that, and this needs to come off his website. He is not for Medicare for All. He hasn't been for a long time. And, you know, he needs to, he can call it a new way forward. Go, go ahead and call it that. I mean, you know, he says that in the bottom paragraph here, my full plan for a new way forward, critical of our, the failings of our system and viable for the past to solve them. And he says... 
Um, we cannot find the answers to one of the most serious problems in modern American history unless we are asking the right question. It's time we start asking the right questions. I agree. Here's a question that I would ask. Can we have a fully efficient healthcare system where everyone is covered under our current for-profit insurance model? That's a question. My answer to that question is no. Andrew Yang's answer to that question is yes. That's where we differ. That's where I disagree with him full-heartedly. But I'd much rather have that conversation with him than with a GOP lackey who's just totally in bed with Big Pharma and has no plan whatsoever. So, you know, but stop using the Medicare for All banner, Andrew Yang, because that's not what it is. That's being dishonest. And people are drawn to Andrew Yang because he's not your by the book politician, because he is an outsider. So, but by hanging the Medicare for All banner, stop doing that, Andrew Yang, because that's not what you stand for. That's not what you're doing. Please change that on your website. All right. So that's Andrew Yang's healthcare plan. I disagree with it strongly. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your